everyone, I'm here in La Paz, Bolivia, and this morning I fly out to Lima, Peru. I gotta go check out of my hostel, and I'm on my way. How much are they up for? 70 dollars. 70? 70 bolivianos or 14 Canadian dollars. Thirty-five minute drive. Waiting in line here. Got to tie up all these loose straps. This line is taking forever. I'm starving. Quite the process to check in there. That took like forty-five minutes. Now I need some food and some water. Oh yeah. All right, definitely not the uh, cheapest meal. Six inch sub, one cookie, one drink, was 44 bolivianos, which is $9 Canadian. So it's more expensive than at home over in the airport, and I need it. It's so weird with Peruvian Airlines. When I booked my ticket here from Lima and going back to Lima, um, it never said any layovers or um, anything like that. <laughs> But both ways, there's actually a layover in Cusco, but you don't find that out till you check in or you get on the plane and arrive in Cusco randomly. This is their boarding pass. It's just a receipt. I think we're boarding. The best thing to do on these flights is just put the headphones in and stare out the window because the scenery is just so beautiful here in the Andes Mountains. I've never in my life seen so little leg room on a plane. Look at this. Unbelievable how tight this plane is. I always have three seats for myself. So everyone going to Lima has to get off the plane first. We have to go back through security, through customs, and then back on the same plane in the same seat. Welcome to Lima, Peru. I need money. That's what I need. Well, I got an awful exchange rate. 300 Bolivianos for only 80 souls. I got a cab for 50 souls, which is uh, what I was hoping for. 50 souls is normally $20, but with the exchange rate I just got, it's probably way more, but whatever. All right, I'm here. That was only like a 30 minute drive. It was more than double that last time I was here, but there's no traffic this time, so it was really nice. And uh, I'm gonna go check this place out. Oh, you can choose the bottom bed you want. Really like in this room. Got the bottom bunk, outlet, table. Nice window to look at. It. Sweet. Do we look in the bar and hangout area? Definitely a good hostel here in Lima. Coco Pelli. I am hungry. I just won that 20% off at Cole Cafe. So I'm gonna check that place out and see if the prices are half decent. Yeah, here we go. Awesome looking smoothie. Got this in the pasta, which is regularly 20 souls, but with my discount will be 16 souls, which is like 650 Canadian. So uh, pretty good, good deal. I'm excited to get this pasta. I'm not a health food expert, but judging by the greenness of that pasta and the fact that there's nuts in it, I'd say it's pre it looked pretty healthy. I'm now in a main uh, tourist area. It seems like called Kennedy Park is right behind me and uh, I need to try to get some money out. 
14 sol or just over five dollar banking fee there but uh at least it worked little uh booth with cat toys in case you want to come down to the local park and buy cat toys in case you ever thought that Peru was uncivilized and dangerous and scary well right now in my view I see McDonald's, Starbucks, Burger King and KFC so it's uh, pretty Americanized here now I understand that cat booth this is that park that's famous for all the wild cats in it Now entering a metro, I could use some uh, cheap snacks and water. All right, let's see what kind of deals I got here. Box of cereal bars. There's eight of them in there. That was 460 souls. So dollar ninety for eight eight cereal bars. I got this water for 230 souls, which is 95 cents for one liter. But uh, that's actually going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Tomorrow, I'll show you a lot more around Lima and the Miraflores area. Got all day to explore. So we'll see you guys then. Make sure you just subscribe down below for more travels and adventures. We'll see you guys later.